almost didn't make it. Almost didn't make it. The church bells are ringing. We're all set. Everybody's good. Wait. Look what I can do with my chair. <laughs> How silly is that? That's really silly, actually. That's really silly. Uh, you know, oh, my pack. You know, we don't have that tape. Hey, can I get some tape? We're out of gaff tape, so can I just get any kind of tape? i got to fix my pack. Yeah, I'm not sure where that went, but... Shit, I'm so sorry. Kind of at the helm now. Hey, no, will you do me a favor? Will you look in the drawer beside uh, you? Where are you? I'm back here. No, let me see you. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm trying to... Yeah, will you look in the drawer down to your left? Yeah. Second one or the top one, there might be some regular tape. I'll take any tape. <laughs> okay, wait, no, I can't do that because um, do you really my need microphone tape? is blocking we'll tape. No, I'm okay right... If okay. I don't move, I'm okay right this second. Okay, okay. <laughs> We'll what the hell kind of show does this? This is awesome. By the way, what the hell kind of show has a seven-year, $154 million deal, first baseman for the Boston Red Sox, and in the middle of the interview, the interviewer has to put makeup on because he's getting <laughs> flushed from drinking vodka. That is awesome. I'm not really sure. Is that messed? Was that embarrassing for him? I hope it wasn't. <laughs> it was just embarrassing for you. I don't give a shit about me. I listened today to that whole podcast and it was cute. That was great. That was, you know, I mean, uh, here's the overwhelming response that I got from people uh, who listened or watched. What a gentleman, what a nice guy, what a mensch, my people's word, for that kind of person is for adrian gonzalez yeah absolutely what yeah. a fucking great guy mm -hmm. and i feel bad that i've just used the f word to describe him mm -hmm. as an adjective but really he's a great guy i mean how many people and can you say you sign a deal for 154 million dollars who cares if it's seven years or 70 years what's the first thing you think of and his reaction is we say to ourselves we're going to be doing a lot of giving back that was my. I mean, blow. come on. Yeah, that's really cool. Is that crazy? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's awesome. It's crazy. He's a, he's a, he's a real nice guy. Yeah. Totally. What are you drinking? Vodka. We've gotten away from the cocktails. Well. At least at the beginning. If we have a cocktail sponsor at some point, we may <laughs> we may get back to them. That's a good but, idea. But we like the idea of just starting the show and then being here. Mm -hmm. The cold open. I don't think it was necessary. I didn't I, think it was necessary. I this. liked it. Steve likes it. Steve <laughs> likes it. Steve likes a cold. Steve also likes. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> what are you going to demonstrate? When we would shoot, Steve likes the pop up. Oh yes, the pop up. And here's oh, the yeah. pop up. Let me, let me get that camera. Ready. All right, hold on. Steve will do this. <laughs> Steve liked that when we shot regularly together, Sam the Cooking Guy TV. Steve liked this. There we go. Okay. Get ready. Ready. Oh. Steve like to start the show like so this. So pretend he's not there. No, I do it. I'm here. And I'd be like this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam the Cooking <laughs> Guy. And today, we're going to make... Well, the best Whatever. part about it is I could always convince you to do it. No matter how dumb it was. Dude, I put fucking makeup head, on in front of Adrian I know, Gonzalez. I I'll do anything. <laughs> in my head, when I, I, don't I, care. I suggested, I go, really? He's going to do it again? I don't care. <laughs> Hey Steve, you know what? Uh, so you can just set that on my mom because you're walking around all the time anyway. So, sorry, camera? camera two. Oh, set the other one on. Uh huh. Okay. All right, I got the boot. <laughs> by the way, Maxi. By the way, Maxi, when you talk, you can show yourself. Oh yes. Okay. I know. I mean, it's a. Sorry, you got, yes, it's a I lot of myself. switching and stuff, and uh, it's yeah. You know, and it's, it's kind of odd switching to yourself. Yeah, it is. Know? Yeah, oh, I would never have trouble switching to myself. Oh, well, that's that's, that's why you're saying. Uh, I know. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> it's Monday night. I like it. This is Christmas week. I'm going to start with the Hanukkah food thing tonight because Hanukkah starts Wednesday night. Is it Wednesday night or is it Tuesday night? Kill? I beg your pardon? <laughs> She's not <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm reading comments. You sure you want me to show Wait, her? Wait. Everybody you're... likes the Sam pop up. Uh -oh. I'm going to try this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no I got off okay. of it. Wait, you're reading comics? Comments. 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 Everybody comments. likes the Sam pop up. All right. You know what Steve and I were talking about? This mic pack is really, I mean, I get in my ear, not in my ear. In my ear, not in my ear. Here, you want this one? No. Okay. I just is it that one? Uh. We just got to buy a mic pack that works. This has got the adapter in it, and it's effed. Mm, okay. Jesus. 
It's just, I say it all the time. It's not easy being me. <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh, Terry Bannister sees the rice cooker. That's interesting. Um, because I wondered if somebody would see the rice cooker back there. Oh, right here, right here. Oh. Wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. No, quit sh moving wait, shots, dude. Here, watch, I'm trying here, to. Just show you. Oh, there you go. I wondered if people would see the rice cooker and wonder what it was for. Wonder if it was for uh, what we were making tonight. Should I tell what it was for? Yeah. It was for staff meal. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's cute. <laughs> uh, and w what we did is we took rice, steamed rice, out of that thing, and we put two things on it. Okonomiyaki sauce, mm. or what's just called okonomi sauce, and Japanese mayo. I'll get hey, them. Hold it. on. I yeah. got it. Okay. No, I got it. I got it. And this has become my, like, favorite combination of things uh, on rice these days. So we've talked about the Japanese mayo. Oh, let me get this. Sorry. So we've talked about the Japanese mayo, the QP, right? Mm -hmm. There it is. And I say it'll change your life, and I've had people come up to me and say, oh my God, dude, that shit has changed, has literally, this would be the moment the camera should be on me. Sorry. People have come up and gone, oh my God, dude, that shit has literally changed my life. <laughs> Sorry for directing from here, but you know, I mean, <laughs> you want to make a point looking at the people. So now this is called Okonomi sauce. It goes on something called Okonomiyaki. Hey, can we find a picture of Okonomiyaki in there, boys? Yep. Okonomiyaki is like a, it's sort of a, a, a savory pancake that they make, a stuffed pancake that they make in Japan. And there's dried shrimp in it and cabbage and seaweed and all kinds of stuff. And when they're finished with it, they drizzle this on top, the okonomi sauce and the Japanese mayo. But now putting it on rice has been become my favorite thing in the house. And the last thing we hit it with, while you're looking for a picture of that, is that sesame salt that I discovered about two weeks ago that's unstupidly believable. And that's what it looks like inside. Look at that. It's the right amount of sesame seeds, roasted, obviously, and salt. It gives color, it gives texture, and it gives flavor. And it's just so good. We got a nice picture. Everybody's oh, really do? happy to see There you recipe. go. It's exactly what I'm talking about. So that is a, it, that's basically pancake batter, and there can be shrimp, and there can be meat, and there can be um, uh, vegetables and cabbage, all these things fried and then placed in between like a couple of big pancakes. And on top, they drizzle this okonomi sauce and then the Japanese mayo on top. And then they give it to you. And you sit at you know the right kind of restaurant. Uh, you sit at these. Is the heat on? <laughs> is, the, is the heat on? I, have, I, have I did not put the heat on. Yeah. I think it says 70 and I wasn't... It's too hot. I haven't been here all day. I Max! I, well, I never touch the heat. I said this to you last night. You wear those thin shoes, dude. I didn't don't touch give you the any heat. protection <laughs> from the concrete floors. Heat. How can that be? I, think I didn't put that heat on. I didn't touch it. I never touch the heat. Lynn, go to like 63. And Zach is 17. He could live outside for a year and it wouldn't matter. <laughs> that, that You're old at 23 now. And now you need the benefit of heating a, an electric blanket. And you shit caught like that. me. <laughs> Did, was it you? No. <laughs> All right, I think it was. I think it's you, Sam. You're the first up in the so morning. Why would I put on the heat? Because you're the first up in the morning and you're cold, so you turn it on. You, it was you. Okay, no, you're right. I did put it on this. Yeah. But it's been on all this time? I left. I never touched turn the, it. Turn that shit off. We just then turned it to 62. Oh, God. I'm sitting here. I'm just like sweating. I'm actually really hot back here, too. I can feel it. Damn it. Mm -hmm. It is getting hot in here. Nothing right like heat in the well, house. Well, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, <laughs> did it not get door. did it not get stupid? No, I think it's the arguing that was my point. But. Uh. <laughs> anyway, Addy, we just let me say this. I'm going to stop everything and just say, we were just Facebook message by Addy Corn. By the way, it's not just Addy Corn anymore. It's you now Addy, Addy Occupy, Occupy Corn, Corn. Who says Hanukkah is the twentieth to the twenty eighth? Thank you, Addie. Welcome back. 
you were gone for a while and we're not quite sure why. Yeah, right. We'd like you to tell us. <laughs> I'll let you know. Let us know what happens. What, oh, wait, I lost my train of thought. Where were She's we? She's been occupying. She's been occupying. Everybody's happy to see the cupid on the table. Of they course. Like, they're asking about the green onions. Green onions, yes. Found no, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Green onions are, you know, perfect on the okay. Anyway, here's the point. And I, I try and say this all the time. Here's what I think you should do. I think you should go to Asian markets on weekends, if you can. Because you can always eat great food, but you'll fall. Oh, fuck, I'm so hot. I can't believe it. Here, you're the no, the door's open. I'll open it a little more. Okay, will you? I think Please. Steve's hot too. No, I'm. I'm no, you fine. are hot. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's. I'm wait, yeah, let me just define. Hot. Let me just define. Steve is hot. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, I think he's also hot. You can't see me though. I can see you. Well, they can't, but I can. So I think you go to Asian markets on the weekend. Asian, Middle Eastern, Indian. You'd be surprised at what you will find. And you will find simple little things that will change your life. And you will find QP and you will find Okonomi sauce. I've often thought I should do like a trip through an Asian market here in San Diego. That'd be cool. At Have least here. No, like a group of people and come by and I can say, I buy this and I buy this. We'll get somebody from the store to say, here's what you do with this stuff. I think it would be fine. They it's fine. Sponsor Expand you your. Like the gringo of. Right. Chinese markets. The awesome. most Asian white guy in San Diego, right? right? Yes. I could be that. Sorry, are the Asian, sorry Lynn. Hey, are the Asian markets <laughs> open um, on Christmas like the like their Asian restaurants? That's a good question. Probably. I don't know. Most likely. I usually don't go shopping. Lynn, can you uh, share any insight? Yeah, I, I, I think they do close. Um, I think they close. It's It might be like a half day or something. I think yeah. retail. I think retail go, goes away that day, really, as it should, probably. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, um, let's see. Tomorrow night, Pimp Donovan's for a second. Uh, there will be a bunch of us. The Zion family will be going to Donovan's in La Jolla tomorrow night for dinner. Really? Yeah. And taking... The matriarch. Oh, God, the matriarch, the mother-in-law. <laughs> my mother-in-law. So we'll go to Donovan's tomorrow night. My mother-in-law will love it. She'll try to pay. I'll try to pay. There'll be the big fight. <laughs> She'll call about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and say, I'm coming down. I want to make sure I can pay when we get there. That's her thing. We're actually, we're not going to seafood. We're going to, uh, she's, uh. she's a steak. Uh, trust me. This woman is a steak person. So we're going to. Donovan's in La Jolla. She's the original carnivore. She is. Oh my God! Absolutely. Oh, look at the dog. Look at the dog. Who killed the dog? Who shot my dog over there? No, don't let Lucky is Lucky's attention get Please on the TV. Please don't let him see himself. Yeah. Anyway, Donovan's, we love you, and we've not had a decision on whether or not anything that I made that night—the mashed potato tacos, or the um, smoked salmon deviled eggs with caviar on top—are going to be on the menu. But oh, whatever. Yeah. My things won't be hurt too fucking much. When are they going to make that decision? I don't know if they are. Maybe they think that I didn't even think that it was something that was worth talking about. Trust me, it's worth talking about. <laughs> Sammy, your fans want you to take your clothes off. What? What? Because you're hot. They're all no, saying, that is so off, not, trust me. <laughs> Speaking of not taking my clothes off. Yeah, that's really cute. Thank you. Thank you, Chris Woodward. Uh, Steve and I were talking about the weight we've both gained. Aww. And I said out loud, January's coming. You can't do anything now. Of course, the holidays are here. We'll wait till January, Steve, to do anything about it. Absolutely. To which Kelly said, it's almost pointless. I go, what? She goes, it's not healthy to do that. It's probably better that you stay where you are. Green Ipso light. facto, I got the green light <laughs> to be where I to be at the weight that I am right now. Steve, if we can just get Annika to agree with that, yeah, really. You and I are going to, if you want to live with yourself. New York and eating every fucking Everything. thing inside. <laughs> Everything. And Hodad's for lunch. Every oh, day. Yes. oh my god. Or Donovan's, sorry. No, no. <laughs> uh, Donovan's isn't open for lunch. But oh. is Hodad's the best burger in San Diego? You know, I don't know. Uh-oh. I don't what, know. Mom? What were you going to say? I'm sorry, but this is amazing. Addie, I asked her what the deal was. She just wrote back. She says, I got some emails from people I don't know and never saw on your page saying that I should stop posting so much and get a life. 
So I've kept a low profile. I missed you guys. I'll try hard not to post. That's oh, so that's ridiculous. What? That's what? Apparently, she's never heard of Blake Puente, that is who terrible. posts all the time. You know what? Why would somebody do that? Oh, oh. Haters. That's so mean. Haters. That is not in the spirit of the live cast no. at all. I say to it's people all the time. Who are you calling them out? The, the, yeah. You know what? She should tell us, to give us the names. Here's the thing. I say to people all the time. The unexpected bonus treat for me of the live cast was the Facebook activity during the live cast. I never imagined. I, I never imagined it would happen at all. Right. I thought we would do the live cast. Yeah. And then people would watch. Right. I never imagined something would happen on Facebook. The and for me, the interactivity is my favorite part. Right. Right. My favorite yeah. part. And I feel pissed that I don't get to watch it because if I pay attention to that, I'm not paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. That's messed up. Mm -hmm. well, how that somebody would, would beg on Addie Corn, who's one of her recipes I did on my effing TV show that was a huge hit. Wow. You're posting too much. That's shitty. Let's just make, let me say this now. If somebody posts once a show or 10 times a show, what business is it of yours to criticize them? Right. Who cares? Exactly. Shit, that's annoying. I'm glad she said something. Mm -hmm. We need, we Me need too. like we a... We would have always wondered what happened. Exactly. We need a live cast etiquette. Ooh. <laughs> we should come up with that. We do a lot of live etiquette Live cast etiquette. etiquette. But post it big and bold on your... Facebook I'll work account. on that for Wednesday, yeah? yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it got a little dicey last Wednesday. What happened last Wednesday? Let's put the etiquette rules up there. What, what happened? was last Wednesday? Nothing. It was our fixtures night, but carry on. What does that mean, nothing? Uh, wait a minute. You can't make no, a you comment can't just like can't, that. You can't throw there something was, out like that. It was just an inappropriate com I uh, comment that I had taken off like oh. 1.5 oh. seconds after it went okay, off. Right, right. It was moderated. All right. We're not to it was moderated. Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, so, oh my God. Dude, I'm sorry. So bad. <laughs> Push the cough button. Oh, you don't have one. <laughs> I'm not going to have the cough button. I apologize to everybody. <laughs> and now that he's backed off, we can't see him to give him shit for that. Wow. Here's the thing, and I didn't do it. Every time Steve sneezes and I'm with him, I go, gross. gross. And I didn't do it this time. I don't know why. That sounded <laughs> gross. gross. Nancy, all right. bless you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So look, speaking of live cast etiquette, I have a little supermarket, supermarket etiquette thing I want to talk about. I went into the supermarket today, and perhaps you haven't noticed, but it's the week before Christmas. Oh, man, it's a madhouse there. What is going on? Why is it that in, <laughs> in July or March... There's this many people at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. And now it's the week before Christmas. There's this many. Was it suddenly people think they can cook? It's like if you were in the Jewish religion, <laughs> Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah, right? You go to synagogue on a regular Saturday, this many people are there. You go on the Jewish high holidays, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, there's this many people. You're Christian, you go to church on a regular Sunday, there's this many people. You go on Christmas Eve or Easter, there's this many people. Right. My brother used to refer to the uh, those people as weekend Jews, people that were here. <laughs> yeah. So wh where are these people coming from? They're freaking amateurs, and they need a little <laughs> etiquette. I wrote a couple things down. Okay. Here's what they need to do. Start off by being polite, because there is no place in a busy supermarket the week before Christmas for a shitty, bad, ass face mood. And if you're in a shitty mood, keep it to yourself. Exactly. Don't let it spread to the checker that you're dealing with. Don't treat them like they're fucking servants. And that's what people do. I hate that. Yeah. I read something the other day that said, you know, I can't remember what it was from. It said you can tell how somebody is in life by how they treat service people yep right I and, and you would call somebody that uh, i guess gives you your dry cleaning or or rents a movie to you or checks you out of the grocery store is a service person yep. person in a hotel a waiter in a restaurant a server in a restaurant that kind of thing person that treats those people shitty 
is going to get a bad fucking room in hell. They're not going to a good place. Right. So you start by treating those people politely. And then, and then this, really. Have your form of payment ready. <laughs> Does that go without saying? I mean, I really like, well, I have, but, it's but, good to but here's the thing. It's crazy this time of year, and now yeah. I feel like I need to do it. Have your form of payment ready. Come on. If you're going to use your card, have the card out. If you're going to use a check, ladies, because I don't think guys are using checks anymore, are they? They are if they're over 70. Over 80, yeah. I was gonna yeah, yeah, that. maybe over 80. <laughs> and that's fine, uh -huh. but have it, I'm just saying, have it out. Don't wait till they say 4992, and then you start digging in the wallet or the purse for the check. Have it ready. And ladies, if you don't have the check ready, and you can have 95% of it filled <laughs> out, all right, except for the amount and then the written amount. If you don't have it ready, you better be wearing something cute because <laughs> we're standing behind you. And I have no problem with those little exercise pants that seem to be all the rage today. Who is using checkbooks under the age of 70? Uh, I don't know. It's I mean, really hot in here. Look at Kelly, oh, quick over here. I am dying. Okay, can I ask a question? I do not know what happened to Els. I'm so hot. I know. I said he made funny. Can I ask? Can I ask a plank. question? Yeah. I Will you get mad if I ask this? No, no, no. Will you get mad if I ask this question? <laughs> oh, that's a terrible way to start a question. Is, <laughs> is it the heat? Is it the the external heat in the house? Or is it your internal heat where you are at this point in your life? <laughs> I'm, I'm done with that. It's not That's that. over? <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> Embarrassing. Ding. There's no more children, honey. <laughs> well... <laughs> Just let me say, well, the there wasn't any more children because of my vasectomy. If, <laughs> how old is Zach? 17? There wasn't uh, going to be any more children because of my vasectomy 17.25 years ago. Okay, now it's getting really hot. It is? You're hot too, right? No, I'm just... Oh, I see what you're saying. Again. <laughs> All right, so we're not finished. Right, so we have the checkbooks out, do that. Uh, I, <sighs> let somebody in. If you're there with a giant ass grocery cart and somebody's behind you with a bottle of vodka and some cheese blintzes or something let them go ahead of you is that a bad thing no that's perfect I love let somebody it when go that and that's cool right yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i love when that happens i just found out that the express lanes at where you the uh self-checkout as of january 1st you cannot uh check booze out anymore oh uh, what and that's that gonna throw that is gonna throw my whole game off no it has nothing to do with time it has everything to do with they need to be able to look at you in the face, check ID, that kind right, of thing. That's they what do, that right, they do. I, I would argue that I'm old and fucking enough that I should be able to buy a hundred bottles of vodka and nobody should look at me twice. I don't look like I'm an 18 year old boy anymore. Yeah. I'd like well, to think I Well, the law is though that you're supposed to look over 40, otherwise, they, they that's, that's a written it's not a law. Oh my god, they did it because policy. of me because I don't look over 40? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, if you, if you read, uh, if, if you've ever been in customer service, that's kind of the, the rule. That's the thing? Anyone that looks younger than, younger than 40, yeah, yeah, Carden, just to cover everyone. Okay. So that's a pain in the ass, but, but and, 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 and don't go into the self checkout lanes if you've never done it before. This time of year, is not the time when you're there with four kids all under six to go like this. Come on, children. Let's try the checkout lane with our 95 items. <laughs> oh, I made a funny noise. Oh, we're not doing it right. Come on now. Shit. You know, the other thing that I noticed in the store today that really pisses me off. It's the Ugg wearing people. I don't mind Uggs. Wear Uggs all you want. Wow. I hate Uggs. Uggs. I'm, not, I'm not a fan of Uggs, but if you wear them, that's fine. Why is it, though, that the people that wear Uggs drag their feet? Oh, and the pajama bottoms. Oh, we talked about the pajama bottoms. I don't think we've talked about it on the show. Come on. Yeah, this is not... This oh, is really? not... Oh, okay. This is not... Um, you know, Arizona State. Right. 
<laughs> where a girl going to class or uh-huh. buying a book in the bookstore the is cute in pajama bottoms and Uggs. <laughs> it's not cute. It's the supermarket. It's the real world. Take the high school, take the university experience away from the thing. We're adults now, kids. Come on. <laughs> Stop wearing that shit and fucking dragging your feet. Yeah. Oh, you're People so in all kinds of boots. Always, you've yelled, been yelling at my, me and my brothers for that. Our I hate it. Are you serious? Oh yeah. <laughs> what does he say? You've been yelling at them forever. <sighs> I was at the grocery store the other day. Yes. And I was in the ten or less yes. checkout stand. But so I had went to uh, Trader Joe's. Yeah. And Trader Joe's is right next to Vaughn's. Yes. And they didn't have the milk I wanted. Yes. So I had to go. Soy to, milk. No, no, the the lactate milk. Yeah. But, so I was in line with a <laughs> basket full of stuff. <laughs> he said lactate. And I had just one item. I just had the one milk. And the guy behind me, I could sense that he was getting really stressed and pissed. And he starts asking me 20 questions. Like, is that your stuff on the, on the counter? I'm like, no, I haven't put it up yet. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, was, he starts commenting on the, how many items do you have? I'm like, I got one. One here, dude. Yeah, he was just stressing. But it was At funny. what point did you tell him to fuck off? I just wanted to right away, but... You didn't. <laughs> I didn't. You held it in. I held it in. It's Christmas. You, you don't it. hold that in in the car, though. Oh, of course I... Oh, with the windows up. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so our, um, our grocery list is over there. You can't see it. It's on the board. But there's another list over there that I write things down on every so often. There's two words up there that people keep coming in here and looking at and going, what the hell is that? Do you see on the far left of that screen? Oh, yeah. Go to the far left, right there. That says pastrami pancakes. Huh. Who do I hear laughing? Me. Why are you laughing at that? I don't know, pastrami pancakes. Because people come on. Michelle, we shot a show the other day. Michelle came in here and she's like, what does that say? What says <laughs> pastrami pancakes? She went, oh. I go, what are you going to ooh about that? I go, if you ever had bacon pancakes, she goes, ooh. I go, well, I can't even talk to you. Okay, no, bacon pancakes are so good. It's the same thing. Ew. It's just like a little richer. It's a little different flavor profile. You take some pastrami, you dice it up small, you cook it in a pan until it gets a little crispy on those little tiny edges, and then you take it out. Then you make your pancakes. When you pour the pancake batter on the thing, the griddle, the, 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 the nonstick pan, then you add a little handful of pastrami crispy bits on top. And when you flip it, they cook inside the pan. Oh, I'm telling wow. you. Actually, Wait, okay. Doesn't it sound really okay, good? So really? something that what I like about the about yeah. the bacon pancakes is yes. the crispiness of the of the bacon yeah. in the pancake. No, I'm getting the pastrami just like that. Okay, so that's okay. So it's that's not fat like, it's not fatty pastrami. I didn't like the idea of like a you know, yeah, heavy, just wet like a piece of pastrami, pastrami, pastrami yeah. in there. No, 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 no. That would be that would be messed up. Kelly's going it's to all over just there. Gross. God, stop it. <laughs> gross. You're gross. You're oh, no, gross. Your mom is gross. <laughs> no, my mother is an oh, 86-year-old woman. She's probably watching too. I my mother that. is an 86-year-old woman. Joy, I take that back. I take it back. <laughs> Steve's mom is gross. Oh, wait, no, oh, Steve's mom. <laughs> no, Steve's mom is not gross. <laughs> Okay, You're stupid. Let's blame it on Lynn. Okay, mom. let me talk <laughs> no, to Lynn. My mom's coming down in a week. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, is she coming here? Uh, she might actually. Before they take off, we'll see. Will we be watch in it. session? She, she, she watches she the show. She's probably watching right now. She'll watch the episode tomorrow. Oh well, uh, well Kelly oh, just called your mom. She's watching gross? right now, and I just Jeez. call her gross. <laughs> That's terrible too. <laughs> just please, please. Uh, Mrs. Gross, Chi. Mrs. Chi. It's an expression that doesn't mean anything, especially when <laughs> Kelly uses it incorrectly. Uh, we incorrectly. God. <laughs> We're just offending all of our Wait, grandmothers actually, you know, and let's, mothers. Let's, let's put this in. Let's ask a question. Yes. Okay. My mom and my sister and my family is coming down for Christmas. Yes. And I, I'm making food for them. Yes. What should I make? Nice. Ooh. Because actually, I have well, no idea. how wide open a question <laughs> is that? I know, that's no idea. Like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you don't have any ideas, ideas yet? Like? Is it, wait, is it Christmas dinner? Yeah, so it'll, it's Christmas Eve dinner. And I, it's, it's going to be, like, I'm going to try to do a prime rib roast, maybe, yeah. like, Ooh. a duck or a goose or something like that. Wow. I wow. dare you to make a traditional Jewish meal. 
a tradition. And make a brisket <laughs> on, and on Christmas Eve. Yeah, make brisket and latkes and a kugel. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait. I would say, you, you know, I'm only saying this because of my own family, uh-huh. but my family is not completely down with the traditional roast beef because they find it too fatty. Really? Yeah. Because the core of a roast beef like this is, is perfectly beautiful uh, meat. But there's the pieces around here that are fat. I happen to like that part, but not many people in my family do. What about a tenderloin, dude? Why don't you do a whole tenderloin? Oh, I mean, I was only thinking prime rib because my mom loves prime rib. Like, that's her thing. You know what? I don't know that a... Does she like the fat? Yeah, I think that's, all oh, that's, that's what she what likes about doing. it. Okay. Well, I can't take you away. Hey, how about last night when you were yelling at our cousin Mark for liking chicken breasts? <laughs> Oh, God, oh. don't even. I was mad at that. You're mad at I, me? I was mad at you last night at the dinner. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with chicken breast? No. <laughs> exactly. Really? No, here's yeah. the problem. <laughs> Sam made chicken cacciatore with skin on thighs. Right. And we got to As a conversation about how some people prefer boneless breasts or skinless breasts. Well, Sam was completely incensed that people don't like dark meat, and there's no flavor in breasts. And there aren't. Is, there is breasts. no flavor in breasts. They're <laughs> fucking dry. And you make people feel bad. Max is cracking up back here. Oh, it was so funny. No, I was no it was. Stu- if I so never ate a chicken, a chicken it. breast again in the rest of my life, I would be fine with it. Fine. But you're not talking about chicken breast on the bone. You're talking about just a plain chicken breast, like you get. I'm talking about a chain, a, a plain old chicken breast, in the store Got that it. you cook, that's dry, and you eat it. I see. That's a big. Difference. I'm saying. Okay. But Sam, you that chicken cacciatore last night that you made that was amazing. Which you didn't try. I was gonna say I don't know because I didn't taste it. <laughs> yes. I saw it cooking, in the pan like this for hours. There's there. Okay, it wasn't no way, hours. There's no it was way an that hour. the breast. The breasts. Yes. <laughs> we're not Just, going to get moist. Could you stop doing that with your hands? <laughs> in your dick. Just grab them. Do that, please. Give Blake something to work in on your, here. In your Just dish. grab them. She please. Just grab them. Stop it. We've been married long enough. Just go like this. Yeah, cause that, breasts. Because <laughs> there's no And then else say in this room. it. And then say it. Just do it and then say it. <laughs> You see your mom's watching? Pressuring My me. mom's probably watching. Yeah. Mrs. She is watching, and I want to make a good impression. It's, about, no, it's too late. You've too already late. dissed her. And she's seen my I old reps. I need to make anyways. a good impression. Maybe Mrs. Chi would grab her breasts right now and oh, say that. Oh, gosh. Sarah Hess writes... Oh, Stop that. Sarah Sorry. Hess writes, this is Sam's world. We all just live in it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah. by the way, I'm just going to say this. I, and I don't think anybody could disagree... On a flavor scale of 1 to 10, a chicken thigh is about a 9. A chicken breast is about a 2. I know, but that's End not of what story, about, period. Right? I'm done. What? No, that's not what this is about. It's about you making people uncomfortable. Getting angry at somebody at the dinner table for, for right. saying I don't think like I was breasts. angry. Can we change the subject? You yes. were angry. And people have Wait, you were at the dinner table? Yeah. People have their preferences, like, Sam. He was talking about how anybody who likes chicken breast is pretty much an idiot. I don't think I well, said that. Did. You did. Yeah. And that there's no flavor. That there is no flavor do, in a chicken breast. You should never ever do that. It should, they should take it off the market. Yeah. There's no reason for it. Okay, it's not. I mean, okay, please. Really, I just want to know to... what to make on Christmas, okay? What is going on here? Apparently, Sam okay, is please. not a breast man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's. Not, I'm not a chicken breast man. Please. It's a personal preference. That's Thank hilarious. you, Louise. Yeah. Ay, vey. Poor guy. <laughs> totally. All right. So Mom likes right. that. All right. right. Can we just move on now? Yes. <laughs> in February. In February, I will do what we call Sam Live. Mm-hmm. Me on stage. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Do you hear that? Yeah. Is that your pack? I've been turning you down every once in a while. Me? Yeah, Steve, yeah. can you see me? Steve just looked at me and he went like this. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what that means. I'm too fat. <laughs> <laughs> There's something going on in my pants I don't understand. <laughs> what is that? Is your phone next to your pack? No. Okay. I like how we're diagnosing. Are you vibrating? I don't hear it. 
I don't hear it now. I haven't heard one thing. I don't hear it now. I'm fine. Okay. We're good. I got my shit turned up. In February, I will be on stage here in San Diego at the Joan Croc Theater in La Mesa doing what I call Sam Live. And it's, it's um, I don't even know. I have such trouble describing this. You know, it's just a question. Yeah. Do people get that confused with the live cast? Good question. Because both of them are on your front page, which I, I have pulled up right now, but right. I want to say they're like two different things, right? Well, there are there are two different things, but yeah, I don't, I don't the know. Sam, to, the hmm. Sam live cast was derived from Sam live. The Sam live cast was because we didn't want to call it a webcast mm -hmm. or a podcast because we do it live, and most of the podcasts are pre-recorded and then and then put up on the net. This we do completely live. And as I already said tonight, the best part is that you can interact as we do this. Our life would be so much easier if, if we, we didn't just do this at all. And did it, we didn't do it like we do it. No, I don't. But I don't think it would be as fun. No, that's uh, yeah. That's oh, the thing. And I said easier, today, I feel like show. I said this to Lynn today. I feel like we're about to turn the corner on how this wet, how this live cast is perceived. And he said, as he's fond of saying, "How so?" And I said, I don't know that I can actually put it into words, but I had a feeling today like things are going to change here and in a very positive way. Not that it's just going to go away and die. But anyway, so yes, there's the live cast and Sam Live is just meant to be me on stage in a theater, you know, like a 500 person theater, cooking, talking, telling stories, doing stuff like you would go see any kind of speaker. And we, we saw Anthony Bourdain a couple of years ago. And we're, honestly, I'm a huge Anthony Bourdain fan. But at this thing of Anthony Bourdain on stage, I was kind of bored. And I wanted more of him. And this is meant to be a thing where people can watch me um, live, who want to come see me live, who don't want to pay what it costs for a cooking class. Because the classes are kind of expensive. That's all not my fault. That's Kelly's fault. But, <laughs> but whatever. So... But you know, you can, it's a 60 bucks for a ticket and you can go and it's fun. And anyway, anyway, that's February 18th. And I meant to talk about that before. And I don't really think I have. And if you go to the classes section of my website, there's an event part and you can click on it and say I'm live in February and it'll be lots of fun. And you'll meet the dogs in person. The dogs will be there. Yeah, and we did this last year. wander around. And the dogs, the dogs are coming again this year because I think people really care more about the dogs than they do about me. <laughs> it's really Haley and Lucky live. Yeah. And in parentheses, Sam will be there. Hey, you know what? Lincoln probably found a picture of that uh, from last year, the dogs on the stage. Mm. Yeah, it was so cute. Mm -hmm. And just let me say this, my own uh, other little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided that if you want to give a Christmas present, a holiday present, a Kwanzaa present, when is Kwanzaa? Anybody know? Nope. No. Steve, do you have half an idea of when it is? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's supposed to mean. You know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Only your left side I'm, is. Honestly, I have no idea. No idea. All right. Uh, Somebody could look that up. So I thought if you, you buy it, you could buy a class on my website <laughs> or. Hey, check it out. We got pictures from last year. That's me? Okay. Yeah. Check it. That doesn't look like. It looks like there's 11 people there. There was, there was over 550 people there. There you go. That looks better. That's the one, all right? Check that out. Wow. I can't really fit That's those nice pants theater. anymore. I actually can, <laughs> but the pockets are all ripped. Those are my favorite uh, cords from uh, Zara. And the dogs Steve. just wander around the audience. Is there a shot it's with the dogs? It's like cool. a big live cast. Looking it's like a big live cast, exactly. We could shoot it, I guess. I was going to say that. I, we will. Maybe we possible. should do we that. Totally we'll do will. actual live. Yeah. Maybe we should. Oh, look at that. That was damn cute. Okay, so anyway, all right, so. Wow, Lucky cleaned up for that show. <laughs> oh, he had a bath right before. Anyway, I those, went. those, um, the February 18th, uh, Sam Live is on the website. The other thing that's on the website are my regular cooking classes. And I, I, this will be on the website. I thought it would be on there tonight. Hold on, let me see if it's on there now. No. This will be on there tomorrow at some point. And you'll be able to print this out. This. I'm going to read it that you can give with a with um, uh, a gift of my classes to somebody. So you uh -huh. could give them my classes and put this in the envelope. And I wrote my own little Dr. Seuss oh, kind of thing. Cute. 
Thank you. You didn't tell me. I didn't tell you. Here's what it is. <laughs> Comes on sound of cooking guy paper. Roses are red, the holidays here. So guess what you're getting for a present this year? Maybe socks, a new sweater, or even a duck. Come on now, don't be dumb. That crap would all suck. <laughs> the truth is your present is fun you can eat. My cooking guy class that will make you complete. I cook and I teach and I entertain too and night filled with food and great cocktails for you. So thank who this came from because my classes aren't cheap. Be thankful and kind, not a huge fucking creep. But I didn't say fucking. I was going to say. <laughs> I, put those, wow. I put those letters there, but I had to say it. <laughs> not a huge, you know, effing creep. And happy holidays. So you can print, buy my cooking classes on the webpage. SamTheCookingGuy.com, CookingGuy.com, and go to the thing, and then you can print this out and give it to them, and that's all. I'm a cowboy, March 23rd. What? What? And well, you, you have what? to look at the food. Look at the food that's in that class. It's a cowboy class. You know what would be uh. super cool, though? There you go. Chipotle baked beans, the chili rub tri-tip, the fire-grilled salad. Ask me what that is. What's what is the fire grilled salad? salad? I don't know yet. Uh. <laughs> but I like the sound of it, and it's going to be really good. And whiskey. If you're going to be in a cowboy class, I didn't say whiskey cocktails. I just put whiskey. Do you Thank really you. don't know what the... I don't know yet. But that's, that's you know so what? Awesome. I do that sometimes. It's more fun because it forces me to come up with something that's... Oh. I assumed it was your grilled corn salad. Wait. Maybe, maybe with a twist or something. I don't know. It that's might a be. great Could idea be. for the live cast. We'll name a dish and then create it from there. Oh, that. that's in funny. Reverse. We could do that. We'll name it and then create it in reverse. We could do that. That's How about a, this? Let's try and figure out how to have a live cast fan section oh. at Sam Live so that everybody <laughs> is together and meets oh, each other. Oh, that's that insane. That would be super cool. That's yeah. a great idea. And I'll just block off a yeah, section of Yeah, because it was cool seats. pictures. So let's give away two tickets right now. Absolutely. Oh. Okay. So how do we do this? I got an idea. Can I win? Okay, get a piece of paper, a rubber band, a spatula. <laughs> it's going to make this complicated. <laughs> Two erasers, um, a, a, a tablespoon. Your second book. You, you realize <laughs> somebody's <laughs> writing this down. No, right? I know. Okay, that's. <laughs> well, I only do that because you guys gave me such shit. Hold on, I gotta turn the oil. We gotta hop in the kitchen. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, oh my geez. god, it's 6.43. Yeah. We've had fun tonight. Yeah, we have. Hey, should we say what we're making tonight? Nope, not yet. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm Let's just try and get it. people to spell it. <laughs> Oh, maybe no, I'm not ready. I got so much stuff I want to talk about tonight. Can we talk about the Miho idea, Lynn? Yeah. Let's explain. What so we had the Miho guys here. And if you're new to the live cast, it's our favorite. It's all the crew's favorite food truck in San Diego. Oh, yeah. Yes. Big time. It's, uh, it's two guys, uh, Juan and Kevin. Let's go to their website real quick. Oh, go to the website really quick. That's cool. Yeah. Keep talking. One's Hispanic and one is Asian and... Uh, Miho, Juan Miron and Kevin Ho, so that's where the Miho comes from. And if you switch Miho backwards, go down, go up, back up for a second, Lynn. Uh -huh. If you switch Miho backwards, you get homey, and that's what they call the refer to the people that hang out and yeah. eat at the truck. And their food is amazing, and they brought the truck here one night, and it was in the driveway, and we had shots of it, and we talked about the food truck business. Then look at how cool, I mean, it's great. We love their food. Love their anyway, website. Yeah, they had a suggestion. Lynn, lay it out. Tell us what it is. Okay, so Juan is, uh, when, last time he came here, talked about going to Tijuana. Tijuana, I right. I said that right, right? You said that right, yeah, okay. yeah. Not like the stupid anchors in town that say <laughs> Tijuana. And he says he gets a lot of his influence from, you know, the street food in Tijuana, and he just really wants to kind of pay homage to that, go check it out, eat some food, maybe film some stuff there, and talk about it on a live cast. Like it? They're going to bring their truck again like they did last time. And yeah, we're going to... So we would. So the idea, we, we would go down to TJ. Yeah. We would eat some food. Mm -hmm. We'd shoot some stuff. Yeah. We'd have shoot. some fun. Oh, he well, said, camera. don't shoot. Don't say shoot. That's the thing. Yeah, and that's the... So when, so when Adrian was here uh, the other night, mm -hmm. um, I said, because you grew up in uh, South Bay, San Diego but you spent a lot of your early years in Tijuana. What if you and I went down there and we ate some food and we shot for the TV show? He liked the idea. So I mentioned it to the crew, which is you know two people, Shannon and Michelle, and they both go like this. No, not going down there. <laughs> so Steve laughs, right? 
the same time I mentioned it to them, Wise Barth is there, uh, right? A, fr- a guy we know. He's taller than me. He's probably manlier than me. He's a guy. Yeah. And he went like this. I don't know if I want to go down there either. <laughs> oh, so you have to know, for people that live in San Diego, there's been a lot of, well, for people anywhere, there's been a lot of negative uh, press about what goes on in Mexico there these has days. Been really, yeah. I mean, there's shootings. There's beheadings. nasty gang stuff. There's beheadings. <laughs> right. It's not good. And I say... It's Tijuana. I'm going to go with Adrian Gonzalez. What are they going to do to Adrian Gonzalez? Yeah. He's got to be a hero. Okay, exactly. so this is what I was thinking, Adrian. Right. You remember how much money he makes. I'm just yeah. saying. They kidnap him, yeah. Okay, He's so we don't. Okay. How much money do Juan and Kevin make? And I make? <laughs> Nothing. There's no reason to. And if we've got cameras around us and we pay off some police to hang out with us, do you have to do that? No, I mean, no. I, Juan said it was perfectly safe. If, if you go with him and he knows where all the spots are, so it's like... Right, no that's, the, that's the Mexican guy saying that. What is his Asian partner saying? Kevin thought it was... He's not to. coming. Kevin's not coming. I'll see you. I'll meet you on the other side of the border when you come back. No, I'm down for that. I would love to do that. I'm down. All right, so let's but try and see if we can but figure your, it out. But your TV producer and camera woman will not. No, but there's two things here. There's the TV show and then there's the live cast. Mm-hmm. Well, so the, so I would love to do it for the live cast. Oh, so and this, I mean, if we could do it at the same time, it would be great, but who knows? Hey, I'll, I'll do it. I'll step it up. That's what she said. <laughs> or, <laughs> as I've learned lately, that's not what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. All right, so I like that. I like that. I, I got to ta- tell the story of Hanukkah before I... Uh, Really? Before First, I do this, what time is it? How it's six forty-eight. Hanukkah. I'm wondering. No, we're okay. We're equal opportunity offenders against all religions, so we <laughs> Absolutely. don't think we tell stories about our own. No, 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 no. The story of Hanukkah. Why you cook with oil for Hanukkah is significant. So I could do that. Oh, I could go over there. Okay, I could wait, say, I but before I go over there, um, I will be at Fixtures this Friday. Sponsor the show. We were there. People love that. Yeah. People love that show, the fixture show. I love that show. That was great. It was really fun. And that store, uh, Mine, people, I don't think I people know. realize that they have a coffee shop in there. They have beer Free on coffee. Tap. No, no, no. Yeah, coffee shop implies that you're buying for shit. You walk in that store and they greet you like this. Hi, welcome to the fixtures. Can we make you a handcrafted coffee? Yeah, would you like a latte or an espresso? And you're like, you're totally put off, yep. right? It's like if some guy jumped out at you from a dark alley... <laughs> Right, walking in a downtown city, you'd be like, whoa, 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 what? No, it's amazing. Would you like a handcrafted coffee? You're like, what do you mean? They're like, cappuccino, espresso. What's that other gay stuff you drink? What do you have? Latte. Steve has a, what, cappi- soy cappuccino, not too hot, extra foam, no whipping. I am not that guy. What is it? You're that guy. I'm not that guy. I used to have to keep separate milk here for you. Soy cappuccino. It's pretty simple. Yeah, it's fruity. <laughs> oh, and, and the and the beers on tap all around the store. Oh, yeah, the beer on tap. Yeah, and the then on one tap. other cool thing that gets overlooked. Yeah. Um, they have their customer care center is like a hotel lobby that you yeah. have to I know. Can, can you believe it? It's pretty incredible. It's nice. It's great. What kind of store is like this? And no, everybody's no nice. Like this. Everybody. Oh. Everybody's nice. Anyway, we were there last week. We love them. Uh, Fixtures Friday, this Friday. Uh, go to the one in San Diego on Dowdy Street off of Miramar Road. I'll be there uh, just hanging out. I mean, I go there most Fridays and just hang out and eat. But if you have a cooking guy cookbook that you want signed or something signed for the holidays, just come and I'll sign, I'll sign whatever. By the way, I have not fully signed a female breast yet. I've been dying for that. But you have yeah. signed a baby. I haven't signed a breast. Oh, you're right. Kelly says, yeah. Kelly says I have. I, I signed a right guy's there. breast. He <laughs> no. was a large man. It was that girl with That had a, like a good solid A, A plus or B minus or whatever no, it would be. What? No, no. It was at the Wild Food Festival. No, that wasn't. No, it wasn't really. It wasn't. Involved. Sam, that she was did, I want to sign a breast because I'm Sam the Cooking Guy and they appreciate me, not because I'm a film crew from America. Steve. I do remember that. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, Steve just said, I'm a film crew from America? No, no, no. Oh, that's right? why they, the uh, drunk girls it. at this event in New yeah. Zealand, 
saw TV cameras and they were like, woo, we're like lifting the shirt. They were ready to do anything. <laughs> I didn't so officially lazy. sign a breast. I signed stomach or up here. This, this, Kelly, FYI, this is not a breast. Oh, God. this is a breast. <laughs> My full signature goes across nipple. That's what I want. Oh, jeez. You are so weird. Where did a cross nipple come from? Right. Well, if I'm signing a... Okay, okay here's the deal. You're just He's 17. Bizarre. Trust me. Zach is 17. He <laughs> wants to be there if I sign nipple. Here's the thing. If somebody says to me, oh, geez. Dude, you've been around a while. You've been on the Today Show a dozen times. You've got three books. What? what are, you have to have signed a lot of things. I'm like, you're right. I have signed a lot of things. Do you ever signed a breast? And I'll go, yeah, I actually have. You can hear the question. Did you sign like up here or did you sign nipple? And I, I had not able to Your say. Your oil is burning. I got, oh. <laughs> and cute it's, time, it's time for us. I would not be able to say I've actually signed it. I don't want anybody to think oh, terrible right. of me. I'm yeah, just saying. Look at you know. Zach's even saying enough. That's just because I'm in the room. All right, it's time to cook. It's Hanukkah night here on the live cast. Ready? Wait. Oh. Do the pop down. Yeah, to, uh, okay, here, let's do the pop up. Do the pop up. Oh, you want me to do the pop? Up. Max is asking do the pop for a up. pop down. Right. No, do the pop Max. up and then. And then no, I'm going to do I'm going to do the reverse. I'm going to do a pop down. Wait, but okay. his head is cut off right okay. here. I'll start here. Ready? There you go. All right, it's time to cook. We got stuff happening in the kitchen. You ready to go, boys? But you better pop up on the other end. Okay, well. You pop down, then pop okay, up on. Don't fuck up the. Th ready? It's uh, it's Christmas. It's a uh, holiday week. It's time to cook in the kitchen. I'm making something for Hanukkah. You ready to go, boys? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. He's gonna. <laughs> There you go. And here we go. <laughs> that was bad. I like that. All right. That was fantastic. So can you see what's going on over here? Here's the whole here's the whole thing. We're gonna make donuts tonight, but anything that you deep fry. I don't have my belt on, I just realized. GoPro and in these, action. And these two packs that I have here are pulling my pants down that are kind of <laughs> uncomfortable. That's gross. Uh, okay, I gotta turn this down a little bit. Here's the thing about deep frying. People think deep frying is bad for you. There's a lot of grease and stuff like that. But here's the deal. If the temperature of the oil is correct, it kind of crisps it up, it, it uh, seals it, the oil doesn't go in. It just hits the outside. That's where we're going with this. We're gonna deep fry these Pillsbury buttermilk biscuits in 360 degree oil. And I have this candy thermometer here 360 is right here. It's a little hot. It's actually 380 right now. You should see it on the GoPro. Can you see it on the GoPro? There you go. Can you point at it? Yeah. Well, here's where I want to go. Oh, I won't use this, my finger, because I'm going to burn myself. Watch this. Who just yawned? Zachy's. <laughs> Who just yawned? I heard Zachy yawn? Yeah. Fuck. I don't know why he's yawning, because they're the ones that wake us up in the middle of the night. <laughs> right. And we lose the sleep. Look, here's 360. <laughs> We're at 380. It's got to come down a little bit. I, uh, so I've turned it down. I let it get too hot. Uh, but this is a very simple process. And so here's the story of Hanukkah. Many, many years ago, there was a temple of uh, Jewish people. We'll call them the Maccabees. They had a fight with some bad guys. I can't remember the bad guy's name. Anyway, Temple, bad guys, all kinds of fighting going on. At the end of the fight, the Maccabees win, but the temple is basically crushed. And in every Jewish temple, there is an eternal flame. But back thousands of years ago, the flames weren't electric, they were oil lamps. And the oil that fed this eternal flame had spilled. And so now they're cleaning up after this big battle. And they- <laughs> Kind of like you. Clean as you go while battling. Clean as I go, thank you. <laughs> and so they find that the oil that... <laughs> <laughs> this is not right. What Why is this thing... Oh, right. I got the one bad... 
Wait, you're supposed to use. <laughs> are you supposed to use a spoon? I got the. No, it's supposed to bust itself open. I hate those things, by the Why way. Why does this happen to me? I have a legitimate fear of opening those things. Here we go. <laughs> it didn't work right. So <laughs> as as they're cleaning up and they're assessing where they are with the amount of oil that they have, they look at the oil and they go, uh oh, this is bad. We only have enough oil to last for really one day. And we need more oil, but there weren't cars and planes and buses and trucks in those days. They had to literally send a runner to the next town to get oil. So they take the little oil that they have, they put it in the lamp and they light the eternal flame. And this is my little finger thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they send the runner. It took the runner eight days and nights to come back with oil from the next town. The amazing thing is that little bit of oil they thought would just go for two day, for one day, it lasted the full eight days. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the miracle of Hanukkah. And so each Hanukkah, we cook things in oil to remember and celebrate that miracle of Hanukkah. I say that Jews are the elephants of the religious world. We don't forget anything that ever happened ever way back. I've never heard you say that, but I kind of like it. You like that? Yeah. What, the I, elephants of the religion world thing? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering when the donuts came in. See, this, this, is, oh, this is bad. This, this thing fell on the ground, this one here. Oh, nice. Those are not good. I can't use those. But we can use these. So look, we're going to let the oil cool down a little bit. Is that oil hot? It's too hot. I can't tell. Well, you, I mean, it's how hard am I to, supposed to tell? Well, the GoPro is not really... Oh, God. It doesn't boil, does Wait it? Wait a sec. Mud on. This is going to be bad. If this Everybody is, liked the pop-up, by the if way. If this is what I think it is, where I had cinnamon... Oh, I got it. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Cool. So we're going to do two types of donuts. One of them is going to be a cinnamon sugar donut Yum. that we're going to do in this. No this is that. just cinnamon sugar that I keep. Like 50-50? No, it's about... It seems like mm, a lot. Just hey, just wait. It's about 30% um, cinnamon and 60% and sugar. And then 10%, <laughs> I don't know, I, I got my 33% <laughs> cinnamon, 66% sugar. It's going to be this. You're going to like these things. Sam. Yeah. You have time for a question? Yes. So you make latkes? Yes. Uh, what kind of oil do you use for it? That's what uh, Anna wants to know. No, I use canola vegetable oil. This is, this is canola oil right and here. Do you do you like the temperature, the same thing with the candy thermometer, or do you just let it go? No, I don't. I, it doesn't have to be that exact. Okay. Most importantly, ask him where, where he cooks them. <laughs> where do you cook them? <laughs> Garage. I cook them outside in my garage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, the GoPro fell. <laughs> in the oil. That was bad. Wait, Almost. did it? What happens here? I, I got it. That's okay. Go back to cooking in the garage. Does that work? You have to. Mm. Let's see. Let's see the shot. That's it's good. not going to stay there. You don't have it suctioned. Your mom doesn't have. Never <laughs> mind. Forget that whole thing that yeah. I just said. All right. So here's our oil, right? It's still kind of hot. I don't really, I've got it turned off. Put more oil. What? Oh, good idea, Lynn. Where should it be again? <laughs> you hear? Put more there oil. There goes, there you go. Add more oil. Now watch it plunge. There's 360 right there. I'm going to have to turn it on now. Okay. I just heard that kissing on the dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was wrong. Okay, back up for one sec, Steve. I've got to get one thing. So we're going to do two types of donuts here, ladies and gentlemen. One are going to be plain, and one are going to be jelly filled. Whoa! And I like digging that. I like the uh, grape jelly for this. So watch. I'm just going to put some grape jelly in here. Can you see that happening? Mm -hmm. It's hard to do this in this container that the jelly comes in because look. The mouth of it is too wide. There's no way that you're getting this inside of a donut. Oh, yeah. So we do it in this guy with this little pointy top. That's going to be perfect. 360. All right, so let's do this. So watch. We're going to make a few of each. 
So traditional donuts with a hole, if you just make a little hole like this, and then you put in the oil, that's it. That, that hole will seal up. So I'm gonna do this. Right? I'm gonna so make it a needs couple to be of a little bigger. You saying. just gotta make it a little bit bigger, right? Oh, you don't like cut it out with a shot glass. Right? You don't know. I, don't know. I so didn't realize that it was this simple. Waste of time. Waste of time. Right? So here we go. We'll make three of each. <laughs> Looks like there's some technique to that. <laughs> there's no technique, dude. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Are you watching here? Yep. Hold on. Oh, something got on that. Here we go. And you see it's starting yeah. to a little simmer and, and get bubbly on the edges. Let me try and get one more. Hold on. Wow. That's simple. It's that, that simple. simple. My neighbor, Peter, who's a very sophisticated cook, uh, I told him about these and he made these the other day. And uh, his kids were blown away by how good they were. Dude, they look amazing right now. They look amazing. Oh, just wait. Just wait, dude. Wait till you see these things. Come on. All right. So I've got a paper towel here on a plate because the oil is uh, clearly not the part that you want. How long have they been in? 30 <laughs> seconds. Okay, 30 seconds, right? That we'll give them another 15 seconds or so. We're right. We're at 370. We could be at 360, so they're going to go a little faster. Check these out. Whoa. Are you looking? Yes. Whoa. That's nuts, huh? This is like, we're like at the freaking fair, man. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> that is crazy. That's great. Oh, look at that shot. I know. It looks so good on TV. It's pretty that's amazing. Crazy. Look at that. Dude, that's a great shot. Wow. I don't know if people aren't watching the show. You know what? I've been looking at the stuff on iTunes that gets watched a lot. Uh -huh. And it's boring as shit and it's very technical. But it's all like named, you know? Cheese blintzes, uh, cheese burger, uh, beef stroganoff, that kind of stuff. I wonder if we named our shows differently. If people would watch them because they'd get to see the food part. Right. But they'd also get all this extra fun stuff. I don't know, I get pissed off. I wish more people watched and we're getting there. But okay, so I'm gonna take these donuts out right now. Like this. Eddie goes, can you fax me one of those please? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's really unbelievable. Oh my God, get out of there, you play games with me. Okay, so watch this. So while these sit and then you just turn them and you give them a little dry on each side, Hear the crispiness? Oh, yeah. They're fantastic. <laughs> Watch this. So now you take them and you put them in here, right? That's what I'm talking Yikes, about. Yikes, that's what I'm talking about, man. These are hot as ass. <laughs> Shoot. Hey, Larry Wait, posted a funny picture on Facebook. Ones. Oh, no, no, jelly-filled ones are coming next. Uh, next, okay. Yeah, yeah, you can't do them. You can't do them both at the same time. <laughs> Sam, let them go to look at up at the screen. Sam's supermarket <laughs> list. What is that? It's your supermarket list. We're, okay, wait, wait, let's do this. Okay, so now we've got these ones, right, that I have not put a hole in. We're going to do these ones like this, back the, into the oil. Jelly-filled. These guys are going to be jelly-filled. And you can do anything. My friend Peter that... Yeah, wow, this is way too hot. My friend Peter that I turned on to these things, uh, he used his own homemade apricot jam, which mm. is completely honorable and respectable of him. But me, I don't have apricot, and in, in donuts that I'm not a huge fan of anyway. It's just a different style. It's a different style. I like uh, grape jelly. So that's where we're going with these. So this is done. We're anti-strawberry, right? Yeah, we're not a huge strawberry. We're not a huge strawberry family here. <laughs> Okay, look, so now these guys watch back here. Tell me when you're on them. I'm on the GoPro, but now I'm on Steve's. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. oh. It's like the fair, am I right? Yeah. Oh, this is, I think this is the first thing we've ever deep fried. It absolutely is, ever. Yeah, I, I mean, I honestly, I prefer, I prefer not to deep fry too much because it just gets, I don't know. The smell? It gets, the smell is a little bit much for me and and the grease and the whole thing and but whatever we're all good here right we're all friends here oh yeah okay almost there nope <laughs> <laughs> i'm so excited to Matt see this Fox the says, injection part well the injection part's great it's amazing yeah, i've always wondered how they do this 
Matt Fox just said that his 11-year-old walked past, watched for 30 seconds, and said, you should be, a paying, you should be paying attention to this. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's no way that kids wouldn't like this. Okay, so what? These guys are done. Out they come. Oh, and Becky Winters had a great idea. She says, put them in a paper bag with the cinnamon sugar and you shake it. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, thank you. She should get her own show <laughs> <laughs> up there in Washington or Portland oh, or wherever she is. Bitter. All right, now I'll check this out. Here's the hard part with these. That was cute of her to say that, though. And I know that Terry Bannister is not Becky Winters, <laughs> even though I called her the same the other day oh. at that thing. All right, look. So now you take one. Can you see this, Steve? Yeah. And you take the, the, the this, and you make kind of like... You root out a uh, space inside. Oh, wow. I've done it too big. And then you take this, and you stuff it in the little hole, and you squeeze. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which okay. I realize sounds kind of <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I, I'm not even touching oh, that. <laughs> 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 right, you guys are all a bunch of freaks, man. That was sick. <laughs> These donuts will be... Only if you took it the wrong way. <laughs> which apparently everybody did. Did I'm you hear yourself? <laughs> it's just hilarious. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> like when Steve snorts, it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. You know what? You've seen me use these squeeze bottles for all kinds of things. Here's, here's um, one more reason to have a squeeze bottle. If you go to a chef supply store, you'll be able to buy you know, four squeeze bottles for only a few dollars. And they're really, really handle for, handy for oil or, or so many things. Okay, check this out. One last step. Steve, I got to go behind you. Oh, crap. What is it? What are you looking for? I'm looking oh. for this. Ready? Yeah. For the jelly ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, powdered sugar. Oh, good God. Yes. That's and what I'm talking about. the jelly about. guys will go here. That's what I'm talking about. Look what we've got going on here. Donuts for Hanukkah. Donuts for Hanukkah. Somebody tells me that those don't look amazing. Oh, the <laughs> and a lightener, Sam? Yeah. And a lightener, all she wrote was Souf Gagnot. Souf Gagnot, that's it. These are called Souf Gagnot in our world, in our uh, religion. Okay, there you go. This is it. Steve, how do they look? They're amazing. Yeah, we, should have a, we should have a bite of uh, one of each, right? I mean, it's crazy that these things can be... This damn simple. I know. Hey, weren't we supposed to give away a couple? Uh, oh, oh yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> well, now that we know, we'll be more organized for Wednesday. <laughs> no, we can do this. No, you have to. We have to. Someone. The first person to correctly spell the word I'm going to tell you, and send it through to the um, Facebook. To the Facebook. The Facebook. We'll get uh, two seats uh, to Sam Live in February. And once again. These are transferable, so you can transfer them to your favorite sure. live cast. I don't know anything anymore. I'm just giving away shit. I don't care how people deal with them. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Here's the word. But wait, what? What are you, are you gonna use? <laughs> because there's so many different okay, spellings. You gotta make these. These are really good. Wait, no, what, what, the what jelly are you spelling? One. Mm, right, I gotta have a jelly one. <laughs> and then I'll say the word, and then we'll end. See the little hole? Oops. Mm. All right there, little buddy. What's the word? Look at that. <laughs> oh, okay. yes. That's you got to make these things. That is cool. I'm good. From those shitty little refrigerator biscuits. And not even the expensive ones. Just the cheap ones. The cheap ones. That's crazy. Which I'm sure that the Pillsbury people would not <laughs> like me saying the cheap ones. But, hey, I'm using them on, on here. All right. Here's the word. Thank you for being here. We continue holiday week on Wednesday. The word that you have to spell correctly is Sufganiot. Booyah. These things. See you Wednesday night. 
and uh, holiday week continues. Make these. Have a happy Hanukkah. Yeah.